welcome back to Grim Survival. It has been 14 or 15 days since my last video due to Strike 2. That's right, Strike 2. I hit Strike 2 on my channel for telling the truth, and we all know that YouTube and other social media platforms do not like the truth, so they will ban you for it. And that being said, I'm really getting sick of this whole YouTube thing. I'm getting really sick of the ignorant trolls that come on my channel from channels like Native and Devout Prepping who think they're hiding, but they're not. Ignorant ass people like them that keep coming on my channel and trolling me and I really just don't give a damn what I say anymore on this channel because I have every intention on getting it banned before the, the month's over possibly I'm planning on doing a live stream I'm gonna call it the strike three party and I'm just gonna get on here and say every single thing I'm not supposed to just for the fun of it um, but that being said several people have asked me to keep my channel going um, for various reasons and I will continue to do so for now until I just get sick of it again, which will probably be tomorrow, and then get myself banned, because I really just don't care anymore. I can put together another channel and blow this one out of the water and talk about things that would actually be controversial, not get me banned, and things that would blow this uh, channel up just quickly. I could do it. I just don't care. Um, all right, that being said, let's get into some news really quick, and I'll talk a little more about Strike 2. Um, it was a live stream that got me Strike 2, so I'll talk a little bit about that in a minute. But there are, is some important news, important news. Let me see which screen it's on over here. All right, this is something I actually talked about in the last video you'll see up online. Um, major expanded recall on frozen shrimp sold at Whole Foods. This was posted um, on the 19th, so yesterday at the time of this recording. Um, this is at abcnews.com. I'm not showing nothing on the screen because I wasn't prepared for this, but I will throw links in the description so you can find this. So this comes right out of ABC News. Major expanded recall and frozen shrimp sold at Whole Foods and other retailers. Um, Avanti Frozen Foods. Avanti, Advant, Advanti, anyway. A-V-A-N-T-I. Frozen Foods expanded a voluntary recall that was first issued June 25th. So it's been almost a month now, almost, uh, to now include certain uh, various sizes of frozen cooked peeled shrimp with some packages of cocktail sauce sold in various unit sizes because it has the potential to be contaminated with salmonella. Potential. Um, they sell shrimp under a range of labels. Initially, the recall included frozen shrimp from Cessna, C -E, yes, Cessna, C W N O, Chicken of the Sea, which is a popular one around here, Honest Catch, Hannah Ford, Waterfront Bristow, Open Acres, 365, Whole Foods, Meyer, and now has expanded to include new brands and additional SKUs from the previous brands listed. SKUs is just a basically a barcode that keeps track of everything. Um, yeah, the affected uh, raw and cooked shrimp produced were distributed nationwide from November 2020 to May 2021. So they've been distributing this stuff for almost half a year before they decided to recall it. According to the Food and Drug Administration, According to the recall, there have been nine reports of salmonella-related illnesses to date associated with these shrimp. Um, they have taken several preventative steps and initiatives to eliminate potential for future contamination. So, yeah, if you have shrimp, if you eat shrimp, I don't. There are also uh, a couple other articles about the shrimp is they are recalling it from several uh, restaurant chains as well. Restaurant chains that serve uh, their product has been recalled all right i'm going to get into a very interesting story i'm not going to talk too much about it it's been something i i've seen on tiktok and i've seen going around there's a lot of things up right now saying it's false saying this is from uh places like snopes if you believe them i don't because they're a bunch of liars and they can shove it um but snopes and other places that like to um support the propaganda and the agenda of mainstream media these places are obviously calling it fake so therefore it's probably real don't believe anything anybody says especially me do your own research question everything but i can't talk about that yet i will get to that in a minute all right new york new york city became the first u.s major city to require dining in or require Anyone dining at a restaurant, working out at a gym, or grabbing a cocktail at a bar to show proof that they have been vaccinated. So, uh, New York City became the first city to mandate uh, vaccination proof in 
certain areas. But that being said, San Francisco became the first major U.S. city to mandate proof of vaccinations for all indoor activities. Um, city residents of San Francisco ages 12 and older will now be required to show proof that they have been fully vaccinated. This is New York, San Francisco. Several other cities are going to follow suit to this real soon. It's really just, it's not going to take very long before it's nationwide. It really isn't. Every, I expect every major city before um, flu season hits to probably try to mandate some kind of proof of vaccination. There's a lot of propaganda going on right now. This is all over every mainstream media. The propaganda states uh, um, if we do not all get vaccinated, the next variant is going to be even worse. So we're already seeing a Delta variant. Uh, certain media outlets are predicting there could be another variant that could be even worse. And they are obviously spitting out the rhetoric here that it's uh, because people are not being vaccinated. So it, believe it if you want. I don't because, yeah, yeah, I can kiss it. Um, this isn't this whole mandate and vaccination thing isn't just to it's not limited to people that are working class or poor people. It's not uh, to that. This came this was about a month ago. I've been shut down for 14 days, so I'm a little behind here. Um, but this is about a month ago. There's a famous a famous band called Offspring. And, and I talked about this in the live stream that got banned. Uh, the band Offspring has required their drummer. He said he, the drummer said he didn't want to get the shot, and the band said if you don't get the shot, you're fired. So they fired the drummer because he wouldn't get the shot. That's what we're seeing more and more around the country. It's happening at so many different places of employment. Pretty much everybody in the medical profession. Um, we're hitting the food industry now. That's what's. Uh, that's what's next, medical industry, food industry. We're going to see transport. We've already seen certain aspects of transportation industry, mostly airlines, but we're also probably going to start seeing it for other aspects of the transportation industry. People that basically, if you don't have it, you can't work and you can't participate. That's, that's the general rule that's going around, and I won't go too much into it. Um, I, I, if, I want, if I'm going to get this channel banned, I'm going to do it on my terms and I'm going to do it in a fun way. I'm not going to do it by accidentally saying something. Um, that being said, live streams. Live streams are hard for me to do because you get these jackasses from these other channels like the one I mentioned earlier coming on my live stream saying certain things and try to get me to react and say something which causes me to get a strike and get my channel banned. They do it on purpose. They word things really well that I read the question or if I read it without thinking about it first, which is something I do from time to time. That could potentially get me banned so these jackasses are attempting to do that and they come onto my live streams and get me talking and if you've followed my channel for any length of time you know I tend to run my mouth and I don't really care and I don't care what anybody thinks about me running my mouth let's just put it that way and therefore I get to talking on these live streams and then I get a strike and threaten to be banned one more strike they shut the channel down I do have a backup channel uh, it's called Gremlin Nation currently I'm going to rename it eventually but currently it's called Gremlin Nation it is in the description um if i remember to put it back there yeah all right the new story i'm not allowed to talk about i'm going to post this this comes from rooters rooters.com r-e-u-t-e-r-s.com um this was posted many 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 years ago this news article was posted on june 13th 2013 now this is what snopes and everybody going around is saying is false this news article and you can look this information up for yourself and make your own decision i'm going to read this this is coming from them i'm going to read it and Make your own decisions and judgments on there. If you've watched me long enough, you know what I think. You know my opinion on this. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Wish me luck here. Last time I read something like this, I got banned. Anyway, U.S. top court bars patents on human genes unless synthetic. So the context is, back in 2012, 2013, and I've actually been doing it for a long time, um, patent companies and big pharma companies are, have been trying to make it legal to patent human genes. Human, you know, human genes. Basically, patent humans. They're going to try to, they, they tried to patent humans. And I'm going to skip through this. Um, a bit. I'll read certain aspects, but the link will be in the description. So you can read this to, for yourself. You can also find the the actual documentation from the Supreme Court ruling on this to see the wording in it and make a decision 
for yourself. Um, yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> this is insanity. This really is. All right. The ruling by the ninth, nine justices, the first of its kind for the top U.S. court, um, important patent protection relied upon, blah, blah, blah. This is a bunch of big words that are distracting and just pointless. Researchers and advocates for patents said it could make it easier for people to get cheaper genetic tests for disease risk. Thanks. We appreciate that. We like it when you make things cheaper for us. The court ruling came in a challenge launched by medical researchers and others to seven patents owned by or licensed to Salt Lake City, Utah-based biological company, uh, Merid Genetics Industries, on two genes linked to breast and ovarian cancer. The, deci the decision sets a fair and level playing field for open, responsible use of genetic information. Uh, at the same time, it does not preclude the opportunity for innovation in the genetic world. Uh, let's see, the company's work on cancer screening gained worldwide attention this year when access to Angelina Jolie announced she had double mastectomy after undergoing test findings she had extremely high risk of developing breast cancer. I remember that. That was a, a story that was popping up several years ago. It was like on mainstream med media for weeks. Anyway, getting down to the point. Uh, here we go. I was trying to find the the right paragraph to read to you because this is the, the key point out of this, in my opinion. The court, in an opinion written by Justice Clarence Thomas, ruled, the court ruled based on an opinion, say, the court ruled that forms of DNA that have been manipulated in the lab in a way that alters their natural state can be patented called cDNA. The C stands for complementary. Okay, good to know. It is essentially an edited form of a gene. With uh, This DNA is patent eligible, the court said, because it's not naturally occurring, unlike isolated DNA simply extracted from a human body. So basically, Genes, genes found in DNA, RNA. Remember that? We talked a lot about RNA when this whole shot first came out. Remember that. Genes that have been altered, taken out of your body, and altered, can now be patented. What, what happens after that? I'll let you just, I'll let you think on that. Essentially what a patent is, is... When you develop something or you make a product of any kind, any kind of the vehicle I'm sitting in, you, you build the vehicle, you put a patent on it so nobody can build it exactly like you built it. Therefore, you own the patent, you own the rights to that object or device or whatever, and anybody else who develops something too close to your owned patent, then that person has to pay you uh, royalties and money for it and probably stop producing it. Patents can be bought and sold. Patents can be put on just about everything. I can even put a copyright, it's, which is basically a patent, on my YouTube channel. Sim essentially, this, it, it's very similar. It's not quite the same. I'm not going into the details of the wording of patents and copyrights, but anyway, I've looked a lot into it as of late. So, just my thoughts on this, as vaguely as I can say it. If somebody patented some, some genes, you know, not, not blue genes, genetic material. If somebody patented genetic material and then injected it into something like maybe, let's just, let's go as vague as we can. Let's say I patented some genetic material, some flea medication for my dog. It's got genetic material in it. It's been patented. And then I give that to my dog. Doesn't that mean that they own my dog? I could be wrong. I could be. 
But just, you know, looking at that from another vague point of view, if somebody got a shot and it had patented material in it, just thinking. All right, this has been James with Grim Survival. Oh, yeah, yeah, strike three, strike three party. Strike two was stupid. I don't even really know what I did. It was probably one of the comments I read or, I mean, I was reading news articles off of Google. Anybody who talks anything bad about uh, certain medications, shots, or fictitious variants of flu viruses or whatever, you're going to get banned. That's just, that's just what they do. That's what they do now. Because if you're not with them, then you're against them. And obviously, everybody's against me. All right, one last thing to say before I shut this down. Homestead Oss, I sent you an email. I know you probably won't ever talk to me again, but I do miss you guys. And I still recommend your channel, Homestead Oss. Check them out. I also recommend Arkansas Living. Very good channel to check out. Several of these small channels, these people are two-faced lying hypocrites. Be careful who you watch. Be careful. You shouldn't just watch anybody and just listen to everything somebody says because they made a video on YouTube sitting in their car. That's just... That's just stupid. Don't do that. Question everything. See you next time. <laughs> Maybe.